Number six then from paper two of the 2017 New Hire Maths. There we go then, the double angle equation. Five marks for this one. Now notice, no degree signs. There it's confirmed there, it's in radians. That's not a big problem really, just set your calculator to radians. If you're really unhappy with them, by all means, do it in degrees, but put your answer back into radians afterwards. There's no shame in that at all. Well, double angle. This will need to get changed back to this single angle here and it will need to match it. So when you look up the three forms of cos, you'll be wanting the one that matches just sine. That'll be the 1 minus 2 sine squared. That's your first step. 5 sine x minus 4 equals, now notice it's two lots of it. It's going to be replaced by 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Doing that gets the first mark. You wouldn't get that mark just for stating cos 2x equals 1 minus 2 sine squared on its own without referencing it being substituted in. But of course you're going to substitute it in in the relevant place. Now you just need to gather that all up because you've obviously got a quadratic in sine. Squared on its own number. So it all needs brought over. Well that's going to be negative 4. That will come across as 4 sine squared. That's the only term that says sine. So plus 5 sine x, and that just leaves the numerical part. Minus 4, minus another 2, will be minus 6 equals 0. Doing that gets the second mark. Fairly standard. Next, if it factorises, factorise it. Now you can change, do a little, another little substitution, let s stand for sine x, or let x stand for sine x, but I really don't see the point in that because you know it's a quadratic in sine x. The real nuisance is the 4 and the 6, because there's no prime numbers in this quadratic for its factorisation. Well, 6 could be either 1 and 6 or 2 and 3, well, this is the way I do it anyway. I want a difference of 5 for the middle term, but of course those are going to be altered, either being multiplied by 4 and 1 or 2 and 2. Simpler to try just the 4 first. Can I do 4 times any of these to get a difference of 5? Yes, you see it straight away, 4 times that, so that will do it fine. 4 sine x times sine x, the 4 is to multiply the 2, that's the outer pair, so that must be the 3. It's a positive middle, so it must be plus the 8 and then minus the 3. Doing the factorisation gets the next mark. Right, so what's that? Product coming to 0 means one of them or either of them rather, could be zero. So if this is responsible for that zero, sine x would have to be three quarters, just take three over divided by four. If this is responsible for it coming to zero, then sine x must equal negative two. Doing that gets the next mark. Now it's just a case of getting the solutions. Well, this one's straightforward. For this part here, there's no solution. Give the reason, but you don't need to. See in the marking scheme, they just accept a sort of score through. But the reason is, sine of x can't exceed 1 or negative 1, or you could put it down this way. No solution, as the sine of x, that's the absolute value of the sine of x, has to be less than or equal to 1. This one then's got a solution, so I'll just say in this case it'll be x equals inverse sine of 3 quarters, for which there'll be two results. Do it in degrees if you wish, and then change it to radians, or just set your calculator to radians in the first place, then type it in. How many press equals? You get one of the solutions, 8, 4, 8, etc. for the first one, and it's positive, so you know that's one of the answers. The other answer will be in the second quadrant, so it'll be that away from pi, so you've got that, or pi minus 0 0.848 and so on. Maybe I should have put a couple more figures in there. 0, 06 and so on. 0, 06 and so on. And these will be the only two solutions. So for this one, simply type in minus pi and then ignore the negative. So for this one you've got 2.29, I'll just put them down now. Now, to give radians to the same degree of accuracy that you normally give degrees. Degrees would be one decimal place. The equivalent for that is virtually three decimal places because radians such are a big chunk for radians. So I would go for 0 0.848 and for this one 2.2935, maybe I'll just put a wee note here, 2.2935 and so on. 
You could say three significant figures, three significant figures, but I'm going to stick with decimal places. So two, nine, four. That's the last mark. And they will accept various roundings down to no fewer, it says, than two significant figures. But to have the same degree of accuracy they normally give with degrees, it should really be three decimal places. Now, if you were stumped with that factorisation, you're perfectly at liberty to use the quadratic formula. Remember, the variable is sine x, not x. So that'd be sine x equals negative b. So that'd be negative 5 plus or minus the square root of over 2 times 4, 2a, 8, of b squared 25, minus that'll be plus, so it's 4, because you just use a calculator for this, 4 times 4 times 6, it better be 4 times 24, 96, 96 plus 25, 121. And then they might remember, oh wait a minute, that's 11, and it should do. If a quadratic factorises, its discriminant should be a perfect square. Although you could just put that in as inverse sine of, the whole thing, first with the plus, then with the minus, which will come up error, of course, because that number will turn out to be negative two. You could carry on from there. Oh, I'll just do it now I've said it. So what are the two answers you're going to have? Because that's 11. So you've either got minus five minus 11 is minus 16 over eight, which is minus two. There's one of them. Or you've got the other one, minus five plus 11, which is six over eight, which is three quarters. And then, where can we put it? Then you're back to here again.